In this video with the Anking, I'm going to show you how to use Anki for the MCAT. Uh, now you may be asking, why should I use Anki? Why not Quizlet or another flashcard uh, uh, software? And the reason for that is it kind of has to do with this forgetting curve, which is basically showing that you're because you're going to forget things over time, you're going to review them on the first day, then you'll review them three days after that, then about a week after that, and further and further. Uh, and this actually helps you retain everything that you've learned in a very efficient manner. And I believe this is what helped me get into the 100th percentile on the MCAT. So that is why I'm going to recommend it to you. Now, the first step is you need to learn how to use Anki well. It's not very user intuitive, and that's why we've made a whole YouTube channel on how to use it. And I'm going to get you started in this video. Now, the second thing is you need to learn how to make effective cards. You need to learn the cards that will actually help you remember the things that you need to remember. The third thing is you should make flashcards based off of all of the questions that you're missing. Practice questions are going to be the primary resource and they're going to be the most helpful thing, but the flashcards will help you reinforce those ideas that you've missed so that you don't miss them come the actual test. The fourth thing is to commit. You need to do your reviews on Anki every day. It's designed to be used seven days a week, which isn't fun all the time, but it will make it so that you study a lot less in the long, in the long term. Now, there's a lot of people that ask about pre-made decks for the MCAT, and I know there are a lot out there, but it's constantly changing, and I never personally used them, so I would recommend checking the description of this video. I'm going to update it as often as possible to keep it so that the, uh, there's details there so that you can look, and if you have more details, please send them to us so that we can update that, and there's, there's a place for you to look at those. Now, beyond Anki, which is what I'm primarily going to show you in this video, you also need to do practice questions. Like I said before, this is the most important thing, and it's really going to be what gets you a better score. And then a little bit more minor to that is read primary research articles because that will help with your scientific reasoning and on some of those more difficult critical thinking skills as well as, as, well as the CARS section. So with that, let's get on to Anki. Okay, so this is what Anki looks like, and I've just made an example. Here's a deck, and there's subdecks inside of it, and there's these green cards, which are the cards that are due to review today, and here's the new cards that I added. So there's things like that. Now, one of the most important things in getting started with this is learning how to set up the settings in the options groups here. And there's all sorts of settings. There's a lot of them. I'm not going to go over them in this video because I've already made a video on that. So I'm going to come over here. This is our YouTube channel. And if you come to the playlist tab, we've made a lot of playlists to make this easier for you. So for example, you can go here and in this playlist, there will be a video on that. I've also, if you down here at the bottom is a highest yield videos, which is 23 videos. Uh, if you watch that at two times speed, so I sound like a chipmunk, you can probably watch that in about an hour and learn everything you need to do. So for example, here's the basic skills playlist. And you can see I have a settings video that I would highly recommend. There's also another video on the Anki algorithm, which is extremely important. I can't stress how important this is it, to understand how Anki actually works because it relies on user feedback. Uh, and here's the playlist that I've got, uh, if it will load, uh, that is the highest yield videos. You can see there's 24 videos that talks about everything that you would need to know, how to make effective cards, stats, etc. But I'm going to get you started in this in this video. So when you're doing the MCAT, it, you, you'll have cards like this, but what you're going to want to do is create a deck. So you may create an MCAT deck. Now, if we wanted to make a deck inside of that deck, we could do MCAT cars. And with I put these two colons here inside of it, that will make a sub deck. So this is what I mean by Anki is not exactly the most user intuitive. But once you learn how to do it, it makes it really handy. So now I've got two flashcards here. Now what I can do is make a card. So let's actually go into this deck here. And I'm going to make a flashcard. Now, what you're usually accustomed to, especially with things like Quizlet, is the basic card type. There's a bunch of different card types. And this is basically a front and a back of your card. So what you could do is, what is this? And you would say this. And there's your answer here. But that's not what you want to do. This is actually not a very effective way to make flashcards. And I've learned over time that this closed card type is actually far more effective. And the way that it works is you could say, this video is awesome. And if you highlight this and you click on this thing right here, or if you hover over it, it will give you the shortcut, Command Shift C. And I click on that, that's going to make a close deletion. And then in here, you can add extra stuff about whatever you want. A lot of times I actually would recommend putting pictures in here. And then you can add tags to organize. You can choose what deck you want to put it in. There's all sorts of things you could do with it. But I'm going to add this just so that we can see exactly what it does. And we'll go into the deck like we're going to study. And here we go. 
going a little slow there we go and so it, this video is and if we hit the space bar or if you come down here and hit the button to show the answer it will show up and then you can see is everything that we pulled up here and if we hit good we'll see it in 10 minutes after that we'd see it in a day or you could hit easy you'd see it in four days and it's going to help you remember these things or if you get it wrong it's going to bring it back now the settings i mentioned will actually change these things here now i'm going to hit e or for edit and go back into this screen and show you another thing we can do with this if you add two colons here again, like I said, it's weird. Anki's just different like that. Add two colons, you can add a hint. Now we'll go back into the browser here, to the reviewer. And you can see that pops up here. But as soon as I do that, it, it goes away. And so th that's a really useful thing to do. Now the other thing you can do that is extremely helpful is you can actually select another word and click this button again. And now you can see this one is C2 and this one is C1. It's actually going to make two flashcards. So if we go into this card i'll hit show answer and we'll do good to get rid of that one the next flash card is now with that so it's really easy to make a bunch of things out of just one now i'm going to give you an example of why this is really useful this flash card i have has a bunch of uh, metabolism stuff and i've got tags here along the side here's the decks this is one thing you do need to learn how to do is the browser because this is where you can search for things so like i can search for glycolysis if I can spell it, there we go. And there's a lot of flashcards that I made on glycolysis. Well, I didn't make these actually, but um, they're very well made. And so you can see there's a bunch of different things here in the browser and you can search for them. And if you notice, a lot of them are bolded or underlined or italicized. And these things actually help contribute to memorizing. They help you remember which two things are related and so that you can get through your flashcards faster, but also so that you remember the links between things. And I don't have the images here for copyright purposes, but in the extra section, a good card should have an image that would make it so that you get the big picture since you're splitting up things into a lot of little things. So that's kind of how the browser works. Now, other things you're going to want to do with Anki is the, in here, I'm going to go to tools, add-ons. There's a lot of add-ons and I use them. I'm going to use them in this video. In fact, this thing right here, this, uh, all of this stuff that's telling me how fast I'm doing my cards, how many cards I have, and this really pretty thing down here, those are all add-ons. And as you can see, I have a ton here and I'm going to use one in just a minute that is called the image occlusion enhanced add-on. Now, I have tons of playlists on, on which add-ons you should get and stuff like that. So you can go watch those playlists. But one of the things you can do is we're going to add a card here. I'm going to go back to the internet. Uh, for example, we were just talking about glycolysis and stuff. But if you have something like the Krebs cycle and you want to make flashcards really fast. When I was doing the MCAT, I got frustrated because making flashcards took a long time. I'm going to screenshot this to the clipboard. And I'm going to go in here and we're going to add a card again. But this time, because we have this add-on, I'm going to click this button for the image occlusion, and I'm going to make a really cool card. I'm going to make a lot of flashcards really fast. So I could just draw little boxes over all of these, and we could keep going. Um, this is great for things like this or anatomy. You, know, you could keep adding all of them, but I'm just going to click this button, hide all, guess one, and I'll show you what it does. So let's go in here. This is one of the coolest things you can do with Anki to make flashcards really fast. So let's skip through that. Okay, so what it does is it, it highlights this box but keeps all of these ones here. And if I hit show answer, it's going to reveal that one. And I can also scroll down here and hit this toggle masks to get all of those other ones. So it makes it so you can make a ton of flashcards really fast. And see so if we go through that one, you'll see that the next flashcard will pop up here. There you go. So you can make a lot of different flashcards to help yourself memorize big pathways and stuff like this. So uh, when you, <clears throat> the other thing you may want to use uh, as you're going through is this add-on here, the Quizlet to Anki 2.1 importer. Um, there's a, a lot of you that will use Quizlet cards like I, I did originally at first, uh, or you may have found a deck that's really good. You can use this add-on to actually import those cards into Anki and save you a lot of time. So you may want to think about that. There's another add-on called the Rememorize add-on, and this one I find is really helpful. So let's say if we go back in here, and you have this card, and it's going to send it to four days. Well, let's say it's four months but you're taking your MCAT test in three months. You can use this Rememorize add-on. I just hit R because that's what I have the hotkey sent to. 
and it will let you reschedule that card to exactly when you want it. So say this is a really difficult topic for you and you're taking your test on, uh, let's say, January 15th, 2020. Well, you could set your card to January 14th, 2020, and it would send this flashcard to the day before your test so that you could review it then. Um, so that's one other add-on that I think is really helpful specifically for the MCAT because you're uh, you're not studying for two years quite like the medical school stuff. You, you, you may be studying for only a few months at a time. So those are really the, the biggest things that I recommend for the MCAT. The other things you're really going to want to do, um, and I can make a video on this if people really want to, but is how I studied. Uh, let's see this one right here is find find books like this i used kaplan uh, i know there's stuff like exam crackers or whatever they're all very good there really is no gold standard but you're going to want to go through these books and find out what you don't know especially with the psych so section uh you're, you're going to want to make flashcards for those sections i know a lot of people use pre-made stuff i personally made my own flashcards and found it to be very effective so use something like this and on those questions on those topics that you go through in these books that you don't know make flashcards for that the other things you're going to want to do is if you have a question like this and you want to learn about it or, or, or let's say you get this one wrong you're going to want to make flashcards about it but the worst thing you can do is people are just going to screenshot this question because they got it wrong and they're going to come in here and they're just going to add a card and it, it's a terrible 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 idea i know some people will just like add it in here and the answer is a and just make a closed deletion out of that. That, that, that that's really bad this is not going to help you long term and so what you need to do is i would if you do screenshot the question go ahead screenshot it but put it in the extra section the section that pulls up after you flip the card over and then up here in the text section you need to make a flashcard to help you understand whatever it is that the reason that you got this question wrong so in this example you would need to help yourself understand the heat of combustion because of these ideal angles so you may want to say the ideal angle is and then what the angle is that may have been why you missed it it may have been something else but make the question on why you miss it now you may want to make a few cards and here's another add-on frozen fields i can freeze this and when i'm making flashcards this image will stay but this will start a new thing every time i add so if i add a card now see this stayed but now i can add new text up here and add another card oh, it's getting mad at me but anyway that is how that add-on works. So there's a lot of different things you can do with Anki to make life easier, to make cards that are much easier, and uh, make your MCAT studying much better. So like I said, if you have other ideas, if you have pre-made decks you want to tell me about, please send them our way. Uh, also, if there is enough interest, I'd be happy to make a video on how I personally studied for the MCAT. This video was primarily to get you interested in Anki and uh, lead you to the rest of our channel here. The other thing you can check out is the Reddit page for our MCAT. Uh, they have a lot of good details there um, on, on studying for the MCAT, and a lot of these people do use Anki, so you can go through that and use that. Having been in, already started medical school, I just want you to know it is worth it, and you can definitely do it. Thanks for learning with the Anking. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as well as follow us on Instagram and Facebook for daily tips and tricks at OnKingMed. Also, here's the email if you have any questions or suggestions for new videos.